Stewart, it's Mr. Rothrock here. Hold up. Let me get a snack. I got to talk to you all about these walls in this school. Check out this wall. Is this wall exciting? Does this wall want to make you come to school? I mean, look at this door. I mean, we got to we got to do something about this. I'm going to be laser focused on this this year. I'm going to be talking to your teachers about this. We're gonna beautify these walls and we need your help. So I'm reaching out to your science classes first and I want you to take something that you're already doing in class that you already understand and I want you to take it a step further. So everything you've learned, all your so knowledge. Everything you've learned about natural disasters, how they happen and how to prepare for them. This is in JCPS. I worked at Newburgh for like just two years. I've mostly been a steward. But kids made these signs like this. They made this, made by students for students. And you see that little QR code right there? You go to that, that's kids talking about their projects, right? This was in the science realm, and uh, it was about body systems, right? You guys would be doing heat transfer and competing for that. But five kids won, and five kids got to create the final design. It gets to go up on the wall. That's something to really be proud of, that you made your school look better, you made it more educational, and it was made by students. Now, past Stewart students would come after me if I didn't point out what we did in the past here. Now, not that long ago, actually about eight years ago, and some of these are still up, we did the same type of project, but it was with civil rights quotes, and it was about quotes that would um, inspire you and change your day. And some of these, like this one, this guy is still around. And the thing is, is like the reason these have lasted, if you look at these little plaques here to the side of it it's made by students for students so you can see kids took pride in this some of these kids didn't even make this one they were just getting selfies around it because they made it for other students for future students uh rosa parks is still there and uh these are the kids that started that whole idea this is them presenting to the so prince everything you've learned is going to go on one piece of paper you can work with the group you can work on your own. You're designing something and competing to win something that's going to be professionally made and then put on the walls here for Stuart for hopefully all time. Everything so you think learned. back to everything that you've learned about natural disasters, how they happen, and how to prepare for them. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting hungry. You got to get all that together. So it's kind of like a poster, but it's more than a poster. It's going to have videos on it. It's going to incorporate everything. So it's like an in-school field trip that you're making for kids next year. <laughs> So whoever has the best one in each class is going to win. And we're going to spend some money on this. So it's going to be a big deal. Your name's going to be up on it as well. That you are the one that won. So you're going to have bragging and rights. you have to know those bragging rights are going to extend to Twitter. You're going to represent our school. And also, I'm going to throw in some prizes for that. I'm going to... But our goal is to get some winners from each team. Get these up on the wall. And then we'll talk about actually you making videos to present this. And then check this out. When you're in eighth grade... You already got this project for science that you can throw into your backpack of success skills. And you're ready to go. You guys done. So what's up, Stuart? You gonna take the challenge? You gonna be a baby? Or you gonna go for it? Who's gonna win? Let's do this. Go!